Well, the college athletics landscape has been in a tailspin for the last week thanks to USC and UCLA bolting from the Pac-12 to the Big Ten last Thursday. A week later, there's been a lot of rumored moves, but no concrete action as the various leagues and teams parse through potential new TV deals and try to jockey for position in the college athletics pecking order. First and foremost, the big fish in the pond that has everyone in college athletics waiting is Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish have been independent for football for over 100 years. If they were to finally choose to join this conference, say the Big Ten, for instance, that could get the ball rolling for other moves to be made, perhaps Oregon and Washington to the Big Ten as well. The Fighting Irish are said to be taking their time making a decision whether or not to join a league, so stay tuned on that. The other big rumblings this week were reports of the Big 12 adding Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, and Colorado with Oregon and Washington potentially in the mix there as well. There's nothing concrete on that front yet, though, and with the Pac-12 negotiating a new television contract this month, there may not be, be any new information for a while. So with teams in the Power 5 still undecided, that leaves schools in the Group of 5 conferences waiting around like the rest of us. I spoke to Chris Vanini of The Athletic this afternoon. He said that for leagues like the American Athletic Conference and the Sun Belt, there's not really any moves left to make, so for them it's unlikely. Remember, they made a lot of moves last year in a conference realignment. However, depending on how things fall out west, say for instance that the Pac-12 disintegrates and grabs teams from the Mountain West to rebuild, the Mountain West could then be looking to add more teams. Now, in that scenario, would they be interested in UTEP and New Mexico State? Vanini said it's possible, but it's a long shot. The Mountain West didn't expand last year, and it could have. It could have grabbed some of those schools if it wanted to, and, and it didn't. Now, if it's missing some schools, does that dynamic change? Possibly. I don't know if they would reach for a, a UTEP or something like that or, or a New Mexico State. Uh, do they look at North Dakota State uh, from the FCS level? I'm not really sure. That's still several dominoes away. It's also important to note both UTEP and New Mexico State are going to be in a pretty okay uh, position in Conference USA come next year, but the dominoes fall the right way and the Mountain West comes calling. I do fully expect them to listen to that league.